Chris Daughtry just released a very powerful new single titled As You Are, written by his wife, Deanna. The couple reveals the ballad is Deanna's coming out, her own victory in a lifetime, struggling to embrace her bisexuality. Chris tells people that when she first handed him the lyrics, she kind of downplayed the meaning of the song. He recalls, quote, she basically said, if this inspires you, feel free to use it. Then after reading the lyrics, he quickly realized just how meaningful the song was. Till now, Deanna had confided her secret to only a handful of people, including Chris. After they met in 2000, he learned learned that her past included not only a divorce from a man, but also a relationship with a woman. While Daughtry says he didn't care, Deanna couldn't find a way to come to terms with her bisexuality. She says, I was hiding and shutting down a part of myself, and it was causing me to shut down so many good, beautiful things about myself. As I built these walls up to protect myself, I was creating a prison, and I couldn't fully experience life, and people couldn't fully experience me, and it's all based on fear. Wow, she harbored this fear through years of dramatic change in the couple's life, after Daughtry placed fourth on American Idol and rocketed to fame, the pressures of stardom took a toll on their marriage, and Deanna's struggle with her sexual identity only deepened her sense of isolation her, through all of that. Yeah, her pain finally drew her into a long period of therapy, self-examination, and growth. Finally, in 2015, she reached a fateful point of self-acceptance, and she wanted to make her declaration in writing. She explains, quote, I really wanted to be vulnerable and say, this is who I am, I love me. Chris is grateful that the song gives him a role in Deanna's coming out story, so it's something they're kind of doing together. Yeah, and he says, I'm super proud that she feels strong enough to be so open and honest about it. We're both after the same goal, and that's being our true selves to each other.